Welcome into the Coach's Show here on the Spartan Digital Network and joined by Coach Iris Dixon, first women's basketball coaches show of 2017. That means that basketball is right around the corner. This weekend, you guys open up already. It's November 1st today as we're filming it. November 3rd, you guys open up against Grandview. Things have really been progressing fast this year, and you don't really always have a lot of time to prepare. You've had about a month or so. Talk about where the team is at right now in preparation for game number one. Well, we've, you know, one of the things that we focused on is, uh, you know, getting the new newcomers acclimated uh, to the system uh, and things like that. Working on a lot of different uh, individual skills um, and trying to uh, combat those into the system um, and being able to um, run a fluent uh, system both offensively and defensively. So uh, we've been really working on that, running a lot of different drills, like I said, working on um, specific skills as it relates to basketball, um, the rebound and the ball handling. Um, you know, getting some shooting uh, free throws. So all those things are going to be key factors for us uh, this year. With the season starting right now, let's talk a little bit about last year and where the gains are and, and where maybe some holes were from some of the people that had left the team. So last year you had uh, uh, your point guard was Dana Jenkins. And this year it's going to be Alyssa Rowden. It's going to be a little bit of a transition. Uh, we had some issues in terms of, uh, of possession and turnovers last year at the point guard position. Uh, but Alyssa presents a little bit different of an issue, a different issue for opponents. Talk about Alyssa. Uh, Alyssa, you know, coming in, uh, she's a, a you know, transfer force and uh, definitely has a, uh, an overall uh, uh, common sense, you know, uh, for the for the game, uh, a court sense, I should say, for the game, um, not only from an offensive standpoint, but also from a defensive standpoint. Uh, she's going to provide some defense for us at the point guard spot that we really didn't have last year. Um, you know, we like I said earlier, we've been working on um, ball handling and taking care of the ball. That's going to be a critical element for us because we have to be able to take care of the ball. Um, I think she's going to bring that because she does, she, hand, she handles the ball well, she controls the flow of the offense, um, she distributes the ball well, um, and again, she plays defense, and, and that's, that's big for us. You know, one of the things that I, I know you really like with your teams is team defense and a sound defensive structure. Uh, tell people a little bit about what the perfect Iris Dixon or team looks like overall. Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> uh, in terms of defense, you know, again, I am big on defense. Um, I like the like to be able to uh, control the the tempo of the game for the most part. Man defense has a tendency to provide that for us. Um, you know, I, I like the aggressiveness of it. I like the ability to 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 pressure the ball. Um, I like the you know the rotation you know of our defense when we actually rotate. Um, I just, like I said, I like being able to, to, to dictate um, uh, the defense, uh, the opponent's offense allows us to be able to, uh, you know, not necessarily cruise on offense, but we're able to, okay, hey, we've worked hard on defense. Now let's go take it a little bit easy on offense and, and make some things work. You know, one of the things that we've talked about through the years is you don't want to be reliant on the three-point shot because if you go cold, that's it. That's the game. When you have a player like Shea Robinson, who does shoot the three very well, that's probably the most threes that you've had anyone shoot in several years, but she hit a lot of them, and it really, it really added to the offense. You've got Shea back this year. What are you telling Shea in practices? Are you, are you telling her to, to slow up on that, or are you telling her just to go full bore, or is it maybe somewhere in the middle? You know, somewhere in the middle, and and you know, it's a uh, good good thing that you brought up Shay. You know, because she's going to have to to step up and, and fill a little bit of a different role this year. Um, you know, yes, she's a three point shooter, and we love that she can she can hit those. Um, but we also want her to be a little bit more well rounded in terms of being able to uh, attack and being able to put the ball on the floor, um, being able to shoot the mid range jumper. You know, shoot the floater. So she and she has those capabilities. Um, she's more comfortable shooting the three. But again, this year she's she's gonna she has stepped up, and we'll have to play a little bit of a different role in terms of being an all-around player, um, and that includes rebounding too. Shea was your leading shooter last year, and she was really outstanding. Uh, got some honors at the end of the year. Uh, just one of those top players in the AMC. It's always nice to have that as a part of your team. When you look at Missouri Baptist women's basketball, though, I saw last year the emergence of Chanel Brown. And boy, she played very well. She had limited minutes and still was averaging almost eight points a game. She, has she made bigger strides this year, would you say? Uh, definitely made bigger strides. Uh, one, she's going into her senior year. 
Um, two, she, she sees the, um, the sense of urgency in terms of the impact that she had for us last year. And, you know, we had a conversation and, you know, I told her I wouldn't expect anything less. And, and she, she has uh, accepted that challenge and she stepped up and I think she's ready to go. And she's a very smart player uh, on the court. You know, and if she would tell you she could play all five positions, <laughs> um, but she's a very smart player and, and you're right, she played limited minutes, but in those few minutes, uh, she made a huge impact. And, and that was something that we, we, we saw, uh, you know, at the end of the year going into, you know, hey, we, we need to get more out of her, um, you know, for the upcoming year. You've got two other players that spent some time on the shelf last year due to injury, but really added to the team when they were there, and that's Bria Wilborn and Amanda Rowden, Alyssa's uh, older sister. Uh, those two really do impact the flow of the game. Bria can really shoot it. Uh, Amanda really has some great rebounding uh, tendencies. She defends very well. Talk about those two. Uh, Bria, you know, coming back, we, we're glad to have her back. You know, not only can she shoot it, but we also rely on her for defense. Um, you know, she's more of a, a attacker and slasher, uh, but could also shoot the mid-range jumper. And uh, but again, me being a defensive person, you know, we love her aggressiveness on the defensive end. So that's really going to play uh, uh, into our favor with having her back. Uh, Amanda coming back, yeah, huge, huge asset for us. Um, you know, we struggled at times with rebounding. She's a phenomenal rebound, and her younger sister has the same mentality. And uh, not only can she rebound, keep the ball alive, I mean, she can also shoot the mid-range to long-range shot. So she brings uh, a little bit of uh, both elements from the offensive and defensive end. Um, you know, for us, you know, again, looking at the rebounding aspect, it's just, it's just like the ball is a magnet or something with her because she is always around it, and I love that. The American Midwest Conference. Boy, you can't get in a tougher conference than the AMC. It's always so tough. And you look at the AMC this year, it's going to be the same thing. You know Lyon's going to be good. You know Freed Hardman's going to be good. They're always going to have their teams ready. Columbia College, William Woods. I mean, there's four teams right off the bat. And Harris Stowe was really starting to make, a, make strides toward getting to the national tournament last year. If you want to win in the AMC, if there's one thing you could say that we need to do this to win in the AMC, what is that? It's going to be all the little things and, and above. So there's not one thing. <laughs> there's, you know, it's, it's, you know, honestly, it's not. I mean, you can say, hey, sure. we got to have a great offensive outing, you know, every night, but that's not going to cut it. We've got to be able to play defense. We've got to be able to rebound. We've got to be able to stop opponents. You know, we've got to have a well-rounded um, team to go out air, day in and day out and prepare to compete at the highest level. And, you know, we can't have off days. We can't have, you know, lax days or, 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 or Mondays, you know, things like that. We've got to bring it every single day to compete against these teams. And, you know, you look at, um, you know, we're kind of right there in the middle. And, you know, you have those teams that are above us that are, are stellar teams and you have those teams, you know, everybody else who's trying to, to, to get up there. And so it's going to be a battle, you know, for everybody. And, you know, our goal is to, to go in and compete every single night. And, again, I say the little things, you know, but that's doing the things that we, we do best um, better. You know, again, taking care of the ball, rebounding, uh, holding our opponents to, you know, limited score and getting them out of their rhythm, um, executing on offense, you know. So, yeah, all those, all those little things and, and, and more. You know, and I give you trouble about that answer, but you, you know, you are absolutely right. When you look at the team last year, it was the little things that, that did you in it and on many of those occasions. Right. Uh, when we look at the non-conference schedule, I mean, you really do have to kind of ramp that up as well so the team is ready for conference, for conference play. You've got an early matchup this year against Evangel. Um, they're going to be coming in there for their home opener on November 13th. Uh, when you get past this weekend, what do you look at in terms of that game uh, to take away to the conference season? Well, you know, first, you know, we'll look at how we performed, uh, you know, in our you know, season opener, um, and then we'll, we'll make some adjustments, you know, and uh, go in and prepare for Evangel. You know, it's, it's a you know, home game, a home opener, um, and it's definitely not going to be an easy one. And, and you're right, we do have to, you know, play those, those tough teams, those good teams to prepare us for our, our conference. You know, I, I don't take, take it lightly in terms of, you know, playing somebody that we could potentially easily beat because it doesn't do anything for us. You know, we, we have to be able to, hey, can we compete with these teams that are, that are good, um, that do different things that, you know, from what I know with the Evangel from playing them a few years ago is that, you know, they like to spread the floor. 
And that's one of the things that we're going to have to focus on with them coming in. And uh, it'll be a different tight style of basketball for us. But again, we take one game at a time, you know, coming up uh, our season opener. You know, we got to take care of that first uh, and then we'll, we'll focus more on um, a home opener. Let's talk about the season opener. 8 p.m. on Friday night might as well be midnight. I mean, uh, such a late start, but you have these classics that they are trying to get all these games in. You've got Grandview to, to start. What do you know about Grandview? I know they're a team out of the heart of America. I don't really know much about their team. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you know and what you're prepping for. Well, you know, that's that's a good question because, uh, you know, we don't know a whole lot about them either. Um, you know, we, we have been uh, uh, doing scouting and doing our research. Uh, we know that they have uh, two or three top athletes uh, coming back. Um, that may cause problems for us, especially uh, on the inside, you know, because, you know, we, for most teams, we may be outsized. Um, but I look at in terms of, of what we've tried to instill with the girls in terms of our work ethic and, and being um, uh, maybe not as tall, but being aggressive and strong and quicker. And uh, so we're going to try to use that to our advantage against, uh, you know, their, their inside game. Um, but again, and try to control, control the tempo the way we want it to, to be ran. What does a season opener victory mean to you? It's huge. Um, you know, we had a scrimmage. We, we looked good in, in, in spurts. There are some things that we still have to work on, but being on the road and getting the win, I think it's just, it's going to give us that sense of, uh, of, of, of passion all over again in terms of, hey, it's basketball season. And, you know, we have so many, so many opportunities to, to reach up there to grasp those those teams that are in the top of the conference, you know, getting this win can can elevate us to to thinking that and hey, we can we can really uh, make a run at this. Coach, thanks for your time. That's Coach Iris Dixon. Uh, we will be back for our next coaches show next week. But the Spartans, in the meantime, will have two big games coming up this weekend against Grandview. Friday night, 8 p.m. The tip of that, and then Saturday, I believe, at 4 p.m against Graceland. So keep an eye on that on, uh, on uh, mbspartans.com. And that we will say goodbye for right now, and we'll see you next week.